Hello everybody, we are back, more Cincinnati Reds, uh, Homer Bailey's first start is going to be in this game, and this game, I don't know, it just didn't, it wasn't recording right, I don't know why, like the middle of the game, like the part of the beginning, and then like the middle, it wasn't, I don't know what was happening with the recording, but just didn't record, um... The main parts of uh, the game where scoring happened, but here's Stephen Piscotty. He's going to rip a double in the left field. That's going to uh, score a run. They're going to score Diaz and then Colton Wong for some odd reason. <laughs> Felt like it was a good idea to try and score, but to no avail. I guess not having Jose um, Okendo has its very big downfalls, but was going to talk about the draft. And with uh, we had, I forget what pick we had, like the ninth or something like that. But drafted Maxwell Fold, who's a 21-year-old right-handed pitcher. He's a four-seamer, slider, curveball, sinker, changeup. He's a B potential at 68 overall. So not an A potential. We didn't get any A potentials in this draft. But hopefully he can get to be like a mid-80s overall, high 80s. High 80s would be amazing. 90s would just be spectacular. But he was our uh, first-round pick. And then we got a supplemental pick, I believe. Or supplemental second round. Uh, took another starting pitcher, Vladimir Casto. 18 years old. He's also a right-handed pitcher. He has a four-seamer slider, splitter, changeup. And uh, also has 83 velocity. Um, good thing to note here. Because in today's game, all about the velocity. A lot of people like to see the oldest Chapmans of the world. And the Matt Harveys. And uh, the Noah Sendergaards, those people who can throw heat, more so Sendergaard, not so much Harvey. But he's a 65 overall, he's also a B potential. So we have the two B potential starting pitchers. And then in the third round, uh, took a catcher, Jose Cabrera, who's 21 years old. He's a right-handed hitter. And he's a C potential, but he's already a 74 overall. He has 64 contact, 64 power versus righties, and 68 contact, 67 power versus lefties. His fielding is utterly atrocious. It is very bad. It is. If you look at um Kyle Schwarber, it would be uh, basically like his. It would be uh, kind of his fielding, but worse at uh, at the catcher position. So he will, um, he'll get his at bats uh, next season. He will definitely be our backup catcher. Definitely a more viable option than Tucker Barnhart. No offense, to Tucker Barnhart, but he he's not that good. Don't tell him I said that. But at least in this game, he uh, definitely better offensively. And the rest of the rounds, not a whole lot to be excited about. Took a couple C's. Took a D potential guy, but. It's the later rounds. There's not a whole lot there. But getting back into this game, it's a 3-3 ball game as Jumbo Diaz is in and get uh, Randall Grichuk to ground out to Cozart. Fires it on to Brandon Phillips at second for the force out. Kevia Sampson in the game, top at nine, and Matt Adams rips the double. Big City, Big Mayo, Jumbo Pepsi. He has all the nicknames. He's going to get into second with his big old self with the double. To kick things off here in the ninth inning, two outs, and a lead miss Diaz will be walked. Oh, Jumbo Diaz was in the game, so it was Samson before Diaz just came in. I'm sorry, I haven't been really paying attention that much. But Eric Fryer, the 2 2 count to get out of the inning, and Eric Fryer destroys it. The backup to Yadier Molina rips one off the base of the wall, and Diaz is going to come around to score trailing Adams, and he will easily. It's a 5-3 ball game now. Cardinals have the lead. Head on to the bottom of the ninth. Trevor Rosenthal is in. And he's going to get Hamilton to hit a little dribbler to him for the final out of the ball game. So the Cardinals pick up the victory 5-3. The bullpen is amazing. But Omar Bailey had a good start. I believe he went six innings, giving up uh, three runs. He went five or six. Only three runs allowed, so it was a solid start coming back from Tommy John's surgery, but... Also got an overview of the draft in this one. And next time we will discuss the potential trades. This was the first game for the month of June. so. But we will talk about trades since I'm at the trade deadline. I've played a couple games ahead. So, 
Cardinals take the vic Cardinals take this one. 5-3. Sen Wong No with the victory. Kevia Sampson with the loss. And until next time, guys, I am out.